day we've been waiting for judgment day this video is being made while I am on a business trip in Salt Lake City part of my motivation for doing this declutter to delight series and inviting you to let go of things in your life that you no longer desire or require really is about today's topic judgment letting it go I invite each of you to join me and take another deep breath. Ah, what if all of the judgment in any way that we've judged ourselves or others, we've been aware of judgment, aware of other people's judgments of themselves, and that awareness has created judgments every day. What if you could now let all of that go, knowing that anything that we've formerly deemed as judgeable is just an illusion, malarkey, a lie, a total story, a fabrication? Ah. I just got the awareness to share with you. Many of you have probably read Don Miguel Ruiz's Four Agreements. And one of them is to be impeccable with your word. And I'm aware, I catch myself doing it as well, that perhaps we judge ourselves. And there is nothing to judge about you. You are a sparkling light of love and delight and joy. And so if you judge yourself through thought or words, that isn't being impeccable with our word, right? We're telling stories. In fact, you judging you is as ridiculous, ridiculous, as creme brulee thinking it's not delicious. I know, that's just crazy. You judging you is as ridiculous as creme brulee thinking it's not delicious. Mmm, mmm, oh crunchy sugar love on top. That's like you. Really, I mean, creme brulee thinking it's not delicious. There's many things wrong with that one. Creme brulee just is. It doesn't think. And perhaps we could all benefit from that as well. If we stopped thinking and started being, would there be space or room for judgment? Join me in a day, and if you want a stretch goal, three days of no judgment. No judgment of yourself. No judgment of others, no judgment. Everything just being perhaps amusing or interesting. This is a big one, and I look forward to your updates and what you notice. Maybe you'll catch yourself in a judgment and be like, wait a minute, if I was creme brulee, or whatever your favorite dessert is, would I be judging myself right now or this experience? I don't think so. Let us know what you discover in your judgment-free day. I might eat all of this creme brulee without judgment, cause man, it is tasty. What if life was like a little bowl of creme brulee? Ah, sweet and creamy, nothing to judge. Mm -mm. You know what I judge as positive? Skirts with elastic waistbands. Brilliant. I would like to know who the elastic waistband skirt creator brilliant person is. And then I will give them a very creme brulee flavored kiss. Mm -hmm.